Hey what's up everybody, Trophynet here and welcome back to Gwent Edge. In this show we talk about specific Gwent cards or interesting decks to play around with. Monsters seemed underpowered in the current patch. With only a few tweaks to some of the Wild Hunt cards, the monster faction kinda was left in the dust in the latest patch. But today I'm here to show you that the monsters still have fangs in today's Monster Rage deck. It's a deck that focuses on destroying both your opponents and your own units while setting up a few great damage engines in the process. If you know monsters, you might think it's a bit weird to have a lot of damage dealers, but we add one of our favorite sorceresses to the mix, Yennefer. You can check the deck composition right here or in the description of this video, but with that done, let's dive a little bit deeper. There's two main cruxes to this deck. On the one hand, we have our damage dealers, Troll and Yennefer, and on the other hand, we have Keltalus, the destroyer of worlds. Let's start with the latter. Keltalus is a gigantic red dragon that destroys the lowest unit on the side of the board with the most units on the end of each of your turns, as long as she's on the melee row. She also has a whopping 9 power, which is fitting for her massive size. She's perfect to counter any sort of swarm deck or decks that like destroying your units, keeping your number of units smaller than your opponent automatically. She also has very good synergies with the Vran Warriors, which are boosted by one every time a unit is destroyed on your turn, and the Sheet Roll of Vergen, which does the same but boosts herself by two instead. Both trigger on the destruction of your own units as well, so consumes work too, while also keeping your total unit count lower than your opponents. There's a limited amount of consumers in this deck, but with the Barghest, Cyclops and Tatterwing, you have more than enough to control your own board. Consuming units is even more tactical in the current meta, since you can negate some poison by consuming poisoned units as well. Both Parasite and Natural Selection also help to keep Keltalus rolling, since you don't play a unit that turn and just deal damage, locking down your advantage. If you have a few high power units on the field, you can also just pass as your opponent either tries to destroy Keltalus or tries to work around the automatic destruction of their lowest unit every turn. The second strat in this deck is Damage Engines. Nitral can deal 1 damage to a unit of your choice every turn, or 2 damage if you have the highest unit on the board. He took over Imlirith's ability since last patch, who got his own fancy new ability now, but we don't use him in this deck because he has limited use for his provision cost. Our other damage dealer is Yennefer Conjurer, who deals 1 damage to all highest enemy units every turn on order. She can single-handedly cripple your opponent's board if she stays on the board long enough. Garanti synergizes greatly with both our damage dealers, since he can duplicate one of them by creating a 1 power copy. You can use the Carapace leader ability to boost that copy by 3 and give it a shield to protect them from harm. You only have 2 charges for it however, so keep that in mind. I usually use it on either one or both of our damage engines instead of anything else. Yennefer is the more interesting damager in my opinion here. If you manage to set up two at the same time with Garanti, your opponent's board can be cleared out in a few turns, regardless of the amount of units on the board. You can use most of the other units in this deck to deal select damage to the higher units to quickly equalize your opponent's units before triggering Yennefer and maximizing her damage. If Nitral is also on the field, you even have more control over your opponent's board and the game is basically over. Especially if you manage to defend them with a Cave Troll, since your opponent won't be able to target either of them as long as the Cave Troll is on the field. Even if you only have Nitral, you still have all the tools to wipe out your opponent. If you use him and your other damage dealers, like Drowners, Parasite, Natural Selection and the Striga, to selectively damage units on the same row, you can set most of them to the same power and use Geralt Igni to scorch all of those units in one go. Igni is a classic and it still is as powerful as ever, and with this deck you have full control to set up one hell of a combo. If you still have a Vran Warrior or the Sheet Roll on the field, you benefit even more from all the destruction. Those are basically the two strats of this deck, targeted damage and wild destruction. Basically just raw monster power. In the first round I usually set up a few tribe units and Rhaegal Larva, Drowner and Bruxa get this going really nicely. If your opponent aggressively puts down a lot of units or destroys some of yours, Keltalus and her companions are definitely a good choice to play in the first round as well, forcing your opponent to play around it. The only exception would be when you play against the Siege deck. Keltalus is perfect in the last round here, since she basically negates any benefit of the scenario card and keeps the number of machine cards on your opponent's side low. With that being said, you don't necessarily need to win the first round, but using Pugo or Weigern, you can quickly catch up points-wise if you need to. 
The last round is the time to play your damage dealers. If you want to play one of those in the first round, you should ideally use Caronti, so you can use the full power versions for later. Round 3 is where you go all out with the Nitrol, Yennefer and Igni strat we just discussed. Either keep all enemy units around the same power or take out the biggest threat selectively. You have the tools to basically counter anything your opponent can throw at you. Just try to keep Nitrol and Yennefer alive and you should be golden. I've managed to quickly go from rank 9 to rank 6 using this deck, so it is definitely one of the more viable monster deck options out there if you want to do some laddering. Even in rank 6, I keep winning regularly against both Nilfgaard Poison and Northern Realm Siege decks. Consume some of the poison away to lure out most of the Nilfgaardian Poisoners and take out their Thirsty Dames immediately with a natural selection card to mitigate their engines. Against Siege decks, however, Keltullus is queen, especially if you can defend her. Her high power also gives her some solid defense against both Falibor, the Oil and Philippa Eilhart, the typical high damage dealers of Siege decks. Her ability will automatically destroy those pesky machines whenever they appear, so you don't even have to worry about them. No and that's it for today. What do you think about the Monster Rage deck? Got any other ideas on how to improve it or any new ways to outthink your opponent? Don't hesitate to leave advice in the comment section down below so we can help each other out. That's what we're here for after all. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Check me out on Twitter at @trophynut if you want to talk. And if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? Any support is really appreciated. Thanks enormously for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Gwent Edge. Goodbye.